Okay, welcome everyone to another one of my ZBrush tutorials and what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to make a hat and the type of hat I'm going to make is uh, I guess you could say it's very similar to the one that uh, Slash of the former Gun to Roses wore so we're going to get started with that but anyway, uh, we're going to start off with a uh, cylinder 3D drag it to the canvas and what I would like to do lately is uh, just turn on my C floor because I'm going to have my hat standing up here. But anyway, we're going to initialize this cylinder. We're going to get things smoothed out a little bit so we can have a, a nice crisp render. Okay, now we've got our cylinder made. We're going to turn it into a poly mesh. And what I'm going to do is what I've been trying this out earlier. I'm going to go ahead and dynamesh this thing, and uh, this will give us some, uh, you know, a good surface to work with. So uh, I'm going to go into the geometry tab here, and I'm going to crank that resolution up. We're going to go to 256, and we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and dynamesh this. And it uh, looks like our projection is done. We'll check that. So we've got a nice tight mesh here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by making a hat base. As you see in the sub tool, we've got a PM3D uh, cylinder 3D1. And we're going to hold down the control key and we're going to mask off a portion of the cylinder. So you see at the higher resolution we get a nice crisp uh, mask there. What we're going to do is we're going to use the extract, the, uh, the extract uh, function within the subtool. And this will extract the shell around the masked area. What we're going to do is kind of create a hat base which will be hollow on the bottom and be sealed on the top. So we're just going to go with the default settings and we'll extract that. Let it do its thing. And then we'll accept that. So, as you can see now, if you go to the sub 2 palette and hide the initial cylinder we have, we have this nice uh, rounded, let me turn it off on it. You can see this is going to be our hat base. This is what is known as the extract 10 in the uh, extract 0 in the sub 2 menu. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and rename this to kind of keep track of what we're doing. We're going to call this hat base. Alright, then we're going to go back up to our cylinder that we started with. We can hide this and then uh, now we just have the cylinder here. So we're going to remove that mask. And go down here to the masking and clear that mask. Now we just got a uh, cylinder, another cylinder to work with there. So what we're going to do next, we're going to create the brim of the hat. And we've got to do a couple of things. We want to take this uh, the cylinder we created up here, and we want to squash it down a little bit. So we go down to our deformation tab. We're going to decrease it in the Z. And get it pushed down like that. Something. This is going to be the brim of the hat, but I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. And what we're going to do to make the brim. And we've got a nice flat disc there. So we're going to go to our sub-tool menu, we're going to duplicate, and we're going to, we'll turn on our transparency so we can see what we're doing here. We're going to take that duplicate geometry there, and then we're going to size it up about the X and the Y axis. We want it a little bit bigger than our smaller disk. And now this smaller disk in the middle is going to be our cutter, which is going to cut a hole in this uh, long, larger disk. And then we're going to, that will be the brim of a hat. But what we're going to do here, this is the larger one, the number two here. So we're going to rename, uh, we're going to take the smaller one, and we're going to rename that cutter. So we're going to use the cut into this using the uh, Dynamax sub. So we're going to rename this thing uh, cutter temporarily. Okay. And do we need to we want to cut a hole through so we're gonna have to uh, <clears throat> do another deformation on the smaller cylinder we're gonna increase it in the size Z so it sticks up and through what we want to cut now this will cut a hole in our larger disc so now we've got this we need to take our cutter and we're gonna bring it down under the other cylinder well this is our cylinder we want to cut so we're gonna bring it down Oh, take it back up. But anyway, 
For now, we want to cut a hole in this larger flat disc with our cutter. So we hit this little button here. You'll see it in the subtool menu. That will, and then what we do next is we merge this down from here, from the the uh, larger cylinder we have, larger disc rather is. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge down. All right, now we've merged down. Now we're going to remesh this whole thing, and it will have a hole in it. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to our geometry tab, go to Dynamesh, and hit it again. <clears throat> now, this is the brim of our hat. You see it's cut out a nice little hole there for us. So now we got our hat base, and we got our hat brim, which needs to move down a little bit. We're going to rename this. We're going to call this hat brim. Like so. Now, we select the hat brim. We want to move it down with our move uh, transformation tool. Stretch out the side a little bit. Hold down shift and move it down right about there. And we can kind of check. It's going to be right on the edge. Okay. So we've got basically our hat that we want. Now what we want to do, we want to clear some of the uh, mass from the earlier operations. And we go down to our mask and we hit clear. And what we want to do, just in case this may have a mask on it, I'm pretty sure the mask is gone on the brim. So we just want to check real quick. And yes, yeah, we don't have a mask on that. So what we got now is we got our hat two parts. We got our brim and we got our base. All right. So now we're going to, uh, just so we don't we kind of work non-destructively, we're just going to go ahead and use our Z plugin, the Subtool Master here. And we're going to merge. And it will it will keep a copy of the other two parts and give us a merge part. Now I got selected Preserve Editing existing polygons and merge only. Go like that. Now we hide these two and go down and select this one. And hide these other two. Now you see we've got a hat. Or what we want. Now the thing that I want I ran through this several times and so we're gonna use the move tool to get some deformations going on this. And the tool I find out that works best is the move elastic. Now we want to bring these two the brim up. So we want to transform active symmetry by the y-axis, and that's going to put it right here. And you make the, uh, we're going to get our move elastic, is the one we want to use, the move elastic tool. And we have the transformation on y, and we're going to bring the tool up really big. Now, as you know, in ZBrush, you can always experiment, and sometimes you might want to bring down your intensity set. But basically what I'm going to do, I want to kind of deform that a little bit, give us a little that little shape on the side. And then what I want to do next is I want to switch to the X. And we'll switch to the X symmetry so we can kind of bend down, kind of make a crease in this hat here. And so if you don't like that, you can, uh, if, that's not an, if that's not enough on your Y, you can go back over to your Y. You might want to raise the intensity a little bit. You might want to bring these up some more. And kind of give you a fancy shape there. We're getting there right there. And also, the hat tends to be, uh, we're going to move it in a little bit. Like so. So we're getting a really nice shape there. Now, the final little uh, piece I want to do here is I want to, to form the top a little bit. So we're going to bring our brush size down. And we're just going to kind of push in with our tool, uh, move elastic. And then we can uh, bring the size up a little bit. And bring it up, kind of peak it a little bit. And so there you go, you got a nice little hat shape there. And uh, I'm going to do one more thing. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to get a kind of a uh, black uh, felt type of look to this, so I explored this earlier in ZBrush, and I'm going to switch over to the basic material. 
we're going to dial it down to a kind of a black color or a dark color like that and what I want to do is kind of want to simulate kind of a, uh, a felt type pad so in the materials here we can do some uh, I want to bring down the spec a little bit bring up the ambient a little bit and then we go over here to the surface and we're going to uh, yeah, no, we're just going to add noise to it. But yeah, here we're going to add a little noise. What I was doing here, you can uh, mess with this strength. But what I found was that I got a better effect if I turned off the uh, strength relative to scale. So I got much of a, uh, a much finer kind of a dappled look there. And of course, you can adjust, adjust the noise curve and such. But I was pretty happy with this. So we're going to hit OK. Alright, so this light box, we don't need that. Now we've got kind of a dapple type of look, and we want to apply this to the mesh. So now you see it looks a little dark in here. But we'll uh, go to, we'll do a quick test render here. And we'll uh, lighten up the back a little bit. I don't really speculation. This, uh, I don't know why it does that. But uh, we can smooth this out in the deformation. You can uh, use this uh, global smoothing and kind of smooth things out a little bit. So we'll do a render on that and see how this looks. Uh, that's a pretty dark hat. So you might want to get the color up to like a light gray. There we go. That's much better, much better, much better. Now we can kind of see what's going on. Then we can continue doing a little bit of the global smoothing to get rid of that uh, I think it's just a render artifact but now we got a nice uh, kind of a uh, stovepipe uh, slash Guns N' Roses type of hat there so we're going to do a final render on this and see how this looks we're going to do some uh, BPR settings first I want to adjust the light a little bit get it over here you can turn on the second light bring it over here and uh, you can go into the render and there's a couple of things you can do I want to make this shadow sort of realistic so we go over here and do our shadow and we turn down the F strength add just a little bit of angle to it a little bit of blur and I like to do the smooth normals soft Z, soft RG, RGB and we got our set, shadows set so we're going to see how this looks All right, there you go. So there's your black uh, slash type hat. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. I didn't want to make it too long. And uh, thanks for watching.